From the very beginning, Icarus's curiosity about the mystery behind flying and his scientific wax wings were doomed to be a disaster. Although many people in the reclusive town knew the catastrophe of his experiment, not a soul had the sympathy to let Icarus know. The private community continued with their daily routines, the cheerful dog strolling along the brown dirt path, the bronze sun rising from the east with its blazing rays, while the citizens heard their sheep plow the fertile land and the shipmen setting on a fast journey on a deep green ocean. The concept of being airborne had Icarus thinking of a brilliant idea where he would spend his days working on a project so he could soar the baby blue sky relying on wax wings, which popped in his brain shortly after his thought. The day before he started the development of his plan, Icarus gathered the necessary materials from the store to create the wings he desired. The next morning, he separated all the items into three different groups of feathers, wax, and rope. Once Icarus positioned the feathers into the shape of a bird's wing, he dripped the melted candle wax on top of the precise arrangement, making sure everything was secure. He had finished at four in the afternoon a few days later and tied pieces of ropes on wings near his shoulders on either side, so he had something to hold on when he tested the wings out. Icarus found himself in a state of gladness, for he had never before completed an assignment so quickly. During the day, he brought his wings as he climbed up a steep mountain with a cliff at the top. While he was approaching the precipice, he straddled those wax wings on his shoulders, preparing for his first flight into the enormous white head. Icarus sprang toward the sapphire sky, but as he advanced in the direction of the glowing sun setting in the west, the wax on his wings began to rapidly dissolve, leaving only his feathers. He was quickly falling downward to the cold sea, clashing with the waters head first. No one was disturbed by this tragic accident, since the townspeople did not start with their everyday lives. The plowman and shepherd may have heard a splash in the water, while the shipmen thought they saw a figure coming from the sky, but they were not concerned with what was happening around them. Instead, they all wanted to finish their chores for the day.